Let's test out the CPX2 by Sky Industries. All right, we just had a failure right there, guys. Slide lock to the rear. And then we just had another failure. Slide did not lock to the rear. Hey guys, Jesse with J&J &J Outdoors. Thanks for tuning back in for another review. Today we have a pretty cool handgun and it's very affordable. We have on my side here the Sky CPX2 9mm. The CPX2 is a hammer fired handgun and what that means is double action. You have a pretty long trigger pull here. And it's pretty heavy. But at the price point I'm not going to complain about a trigger, but I have seen these as low as $239, and that is a bargain. The CPX2 is getting a lot of attention for one first time handgun buyers because of the price. More first time gun buyers tend to go towards the more affordable gun. They're not real sure about handguns, they don't want to drop a lot of money into something that they're, they feel like they'll never use. But at, if you can find this at $250, that's a really good gun for a really good price. And that really draws a lot of attention to it for first time handgun buyers. This is a middle of the road gun. And we'll talk about some of the pros, the things I really like about it. We'll talk about some of the cons. Very few things that I don't like about the Sky 9mm. And I have shot both with the thumb safety and without it. Uh, me personally, I prefer the CPX2 without the safety, but that's just me. Some people really like the comfort and uh, knowing that they have two safeties. They have the manual and then their finger, not touching that trigger. But with, I feel like the CPX2 with that long trigger pull, I feel like that's enough of a safety right there because that, that's a pretty heavy trigger, guys. It has decent sights. They are metal sights, so they're they're durable and these have some wear on it where they've been tucked away in a Black Hawk, just a cheap nylon holster, but it does the job. It's a mid-size handgun. And this tucks away nicely for concealed carry. It's getting a lot of attention for being a truck gun just because of the price. A lot of experienced shooters are buying these to tuck away in their truck or a place to where they really don't, they're not too worried about the handgun at being $250. They're not too worried about it getting scratched up, getting dirty, and they'll uh, put this in the glove box of their truck or something. I wanted to go over a couple things that I really like about the CPX2 9mm, and I wanted to go over a few things that I don't like. First thing that really stands out to me, big thumbs up to Sky, is lifetime guarantee, no questions asked. Second thing I really like about the handgun, I like the price point. At $250, $300, you're getting a really good gun for that kind of money. Third thing that I really like about it is the round count. They could have went so many directions when building these guns and I think they went just right. At 10 rounds you're not getting too big of a gun and you're not getting too small so you still have a lot of firepower in a small package. And just one of the downsides in my opinion is the double action trigger. So let's talk about what comes with your Sky CPX2 9mm. First, obviously, you have your handgun. It comes with two magazines. You have a flush base plate, and then you have a 
extension magazine which helps with larger hands very nice magazine extension you have two of these and you have two of the flat uh, base plates but two magazines total comes with a nice lock and two keys and then you obviously have your documents warranty no questions asked lifetime guarantee and information on a laser and then your firearm instruction manual all right let's just do a little plinking here on some steel see how the gun handles here we're going hot Very nice gun. I believe I missed one of them little ones down there, but that's all right. It's a nice gun. But, a little issue here. The pin on the back is walking out right here. And then the trigger pin is walking out. I can't hold back on these reviews, guys. That is not cool. And it's not cracked. I don't know. Guys, I really wanted to give this gun a good review. I tried. I really did. I have never said anything bad about a gun and I know I'm a small YouTube channel and I haven't done a lot of reviews and most of the guns that I have reviewed have been on the $500 side and up. This is about a $250 gun so I can't complain too much and I have used this gun as a shoot at the range, just regular shooting. Would I recommend this gun for self-defense? Well, with stuff like this happening, no, I can't. Another thing that this gun has had a problem with is the trigger reset. We're empty, barrel's empty, no magazine. Trigger won't reset. There it went. I can't hold this back, guys. I want to be a real YouTube channel and real experiences. And like I said, I just want to be real as I can be. This gun has a catastrophic failure the frame is cracked I won't shoot this gun anymore that is a no-go right there so not only are we gonna be doing a video on how the sky performed which it failed miserably but I'm gonna to have to do videos on customer support sky stands behind their gun lifetime guarantee no questions asked so we'll be keeping you guys up to date on what happens with this gun Alright guys, we have our Sky CPX2 uh, inside. I'm going to inspect this thoroughly. This is clear. No magazine. We're going to lock the slide to the rear. Got my Buck 290 knife. Pull out the takedown pin. Alright, take the slide off. Firing pin looks okay. Recoil spring, the barrel, all that looks normal. Don't look any different. Everything looks good there. So, that looks fine, but that's not where we're having our problems. This is... Everything looks okay. Our hammer seems to be okay. Whoa. That ejector is sloppy. It's almost like I can just pull it up out of there. That's not good. But this isn't even where we were having our issues. So our ejector is extremely loose. 
but this is I was calling it a hammer pin but looking at the manual these are frame pins and right here is our frame and these pins are what holds the heart of the handgun together these pins if these were to come loose which they did catastrophic failure and I'd hate for somebody to trust their life with this gun and that happened to them uh, uh, we can see right here the frame is completely cracked around that frame pin so you can see right here where the crack is around the frame pin it is not supposed to be like that and it's starting to work its way around the back then on this side exact same thing crack right here works its way around to the frame pin and starting to work its way around the beaver tail back here I know a lot of you guys are gonna say well you get what you pay for I agree with you but I was really hoping that wasn't the case and I can see right here that you know you when you pay $250, $300 for a gun, you can't be too upset when it just falls apart on you. So I will update you guys on this. We're going to get in touch with Sky Industries about fixing this CPX2 that fell apart while I was out doing a YouTube video on it. So I'm Jesse with J&J &J Outdoors. Thanks for watching. God bless America, and y'all keep shooting.